So second, you need to open uh, EchoTag. Uh, actually, uh, there is no uh, software. You cannot. You have to work in the school computer because uh, only school computers has it. So just go to any school computer and then just search. Probably it will be somewhere here, but I just search it. So please open EchoTag Analysis, which is also here on your. Okay, so in the desktop you will see EchoTag Analysis icon here. So. This is the software Ecotech, which is quite convenient for, actually this one is useful for your energy analysis too, but we don't use it because actually this one, actually Autodesk actually embedded this software in the Rabbit, but actually so far now it is not finished. So actually you cannot really use it yet, but we have license here. So this is Ecotech. As you see there on the right side, you will see zone management and material assignment and display setting. This one is shadow setting and analysis grid. And actually this one is actually what you will need to use, which is rays and particles. And the other one is the script and other uh, tools, but we are not going to use it. Actually what we are going to use actually this one, rays and particles. And if you go to the left, you will see some metadata, which is uh, some information about project. And through the editor is actually where you can modify geometries and then visualize actually uh, some, you can actually make it a little bit better for your presentation. And analysis, actually, you can see the anal analyzed result. And actually, report is actually, you can also prepare a documentation out of your result. Okay, so first one uh, we are going to do is actually we'll import uh, the geometry you prepared uh, in Rhino 3D. So go to file and import. And there are two menus, uh, model analysis data and 3D CAD geometry. We are going to use this one, 3D CAD geometry. So if you click it, uh, you can actually uh, select uh, different file types. I will change from DXF to 3DS. There are actually there are two types of 3D. So first one is actually 3D meta file. Second one is actually 3D studio. I will select the second one. Then I will choose file. So first of all, I will just select uh, model 001 without a reflector and then I open it, then you may want to open it as new. So I just select uh, open as new here. Then to see the geometry, you have to go to 3D editor. Then as you see that you see the geometry here. And actually it's kind of a little bit tweaked. So to actually change that, you can go to this display setting and this one is actually top view and side view and this one is actually uh, another side view, and this one is actually three-dimensional view. Uh, you can use your scroll, zoom in and out. Also, you can use right mouse button <coughs> to orbit the model. But before you really start to work on it, uh, my first suggestion, double check whether your geometry <coughs> is the same, ge the same dimensions with Rhino file. To check the dimensions, first of all, you need to select the 3D editor, and the third one look like a ruler is actually tape and just I just click this one and I just click roughly click from left to right and checking that this one is roughly about 300,000 which is actually similar to uh, original size so I kind of make sure that uh, you are all set so this one is actually explaining uh, how to import a 3d file and then uh, your first step in EchoTech.